What's going on, Little Dap? It's Jared Monts here. I'm here with Heather O'Reilly. We're in Cambridge, Massachusetts, near the Harvard campus. I was just at the Boston Breakers practice this morning filming some soccer walking Boston. Heather made a cameo. Some other cool players made a cameo. What's going on, Heather? Happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Jared, and thanks for coming out to practice. We uh, did some cool juggling with the Breakers and uh, Tell them a little bit about the World Juggle Thon, so pretty pumped about that. Nice. So for everyone who's tuning in right now, we're doing a live Google Plus Hangout. Um, if you've got a question, post a comment, like the video, uh, send us a tweet. You can tweet at Heather. She's going to be taking tweets right off her phone. You can tweet at me. I'm at Jared Munts. But uh, we're just going to be doing this for about 30 minutes. We may have some special guests. Oh, it's going to be so good. I love it. I love it. But. Heather, let's get started. How does it feel, uh, NWSL, Boston Breakers, things are looking good for this season? How excited are you? Yeah, we're really pumped about this season. Um, you know, I think that Boston Breakers is a fantastic organization that has been around for a while, and uh, I think that this city has, has shown that um, it loves women's soccer. It's a great sports town, Boston, overall. Um, but just uh, the fact that the Breakers have been through – you know, in the WSA and then the, in the WPS and now in the, w, uh, the NWSL, it just proves that uh, the city loves women's soccer, it supports women's soccer, and it wants women's soccer to work. So I'm really excited to be here playing with the Boston Breakers organization. We have a really great team. My roommate, uh, who just moved in last week, is Sydney LaRue. She moved in Whoa. with my boyfriend and I, my husband and I. Whoa. <laughs> Hope Dave's not watching this. Uh, moved in with my husband and I and her... Uh, Dog Boss will be joining us uh, shortly in a few weeks, so we're just uh, we're just really pumped. Sorry uh, to cut you off, really Heather, but Boss has like a massive Twitter following. Yeah, I just saw that today. She, I saw Sydney's page, and she's like proud uh, uh, mama of Boss, and I was like, I didn't know she had a kid. And I saw the dog. I was like, that is awesome. Yeah, Boss <laughs> is quite the popular Chihuahua. Um, definitely has its little cult following on Twitter. Uh, and I can't wait for him to move in with us. Pumped. <laughs> so cool. So let's go to some questions here. We got uh, Catherine at CT, uh, at CT, at Ctracy96 on Twitter is asking, Heather, what are you most looking forward to in the first NWSL season? Uh, I think that we're just looking forward to, um, you know, sort of building, building this league. Um, obviously, you know, we've uh, – you know, had some leagues before, but we think that this setup with U.S. Soccer, uh, the Canadian Federation, and the Mexican Federation all investing in this league, all you know, putting their chips all in, um, and and making this work is really such a promising sign. So we're really looking for some really good matches. We're looking for development. You know, these couple years in particular are are really important years for me as a player to develop. I'm 28 years old. I think I have a lot to still offer to this game. And I really want to use uh, these these seasons to grow and develop as a player, and and hopefully you know make another run at another World Cup and and go for gold. Twenty eight, that's like prime time, right? Isn't that when a soccer player is supposed to be peaking? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like you know, for so many years I was the young kid on the national team, and that's fun and that's uh, cool and exciting. But I think there's something to be said for having some experience behind you. Um, it's weird, you know, seeing my name down as a veteran player now. Um, but, you know, I have had a lot of experience and have been given a lot of opportunities. So now it's sort of my turn to sort of put my arm around some of the younger kids, um, somebody like Sid LaRue, and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, if there's anything helpful I can, I can tell them about being a pro or playing in a pro league, uh, I'll do that because some of my role models, Mia Hamm and Christine Lilly and Julie Foudy, they were um, so great being uh, mentors for me when I was younger. Awesome. Those are, those are good players right there. Well, we've got uh, someone from the South asking some questions. YouTuber Future Tobin Heath, they say, I love you, Heather. Everyone loves you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, she's asking, do you think the lead will expand to Florida? She's from the South. She wants a team in Florida. Well, first I want to know why she's future Tobin Heath. What is she? What is she? What she got that Tobin's got? Uh, I definitely want to know where that name came from. Uh, future Heather O'Reilly. Yeah, so we'll exactly. Get the username. Exactly. Um, I hope that there's one in the South. I love um, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. That's uh, where I'm going to be. Uh, I actually just go bought a house. Yes, go go Heels. 
just bought a house in Chapel Hill because I love it there so, so much. Um, so I'll be sort of splitting my time between North Carolina and Boston where I uh, play for the Breakers now. So I hope that one day there's totally a team in the South, I think, especially North Carolina has so much uh, positive um, backing of soccer. So hopefully one day uh, they have a team there. But um, we can only just keep growing this league with the teams that we have. So if you're near a city that has uh, an NWSL team, come on out, tell your friends, tell your teammates. Um, and let's make this league uh, last and, and grow. So what kind of house in Chapel Hill? Oh, that's exciting. Is that your first house? Yeah, my first house. I'm a homeowner as of today, so this is very exciting. I get to share this As of with today? You. Yeah. Oh, we got breaking news here. Oh, my Hot goodness. news, hot news. Um, yeah, closed on the house today, so that was exciting. Um, yeah, so it's exciting uh, growing up a little bit, I guess. But, Did you uh, read Martha Stewart? I mean, how, are, <laughs> how are you playing this? I definitely saw a tweet. Of a, of a couch that I'm looking at over here oh. for like something to live in. Are you, are you going to like hit up some Martha Stewart home living people? Like, listen, I'm Heather O'Reilly. You know, it would be really cool if you gave me a nice couch and <laughs> get a tweet about it. What do you think? Oh, well, I hope so. If there's any, uh, you know, other companies besides Abison Living that, you know, want to contribute to, to the house. That would be awesome. Uh, I definitely feel myself like popping into like Pottery Barn and Restoration Hardware way more than I would have <laughs> like five years ago. So I guess it's just one of those things that happens as you get older. Um, but uh, I think the next step for me, to be honest, and I could use everybody here for some help with this, is my cooking game. I just, I really have no game in the kitchen. I, I make breakfast. As Sid noticed, I make kind of some, I mean like, egg, toast, yogurt concoction, which is lovely, but, you know, it's not high level. It's really not. So um, really I'm moving on towards more of the dinner cuisine and doing more than, like, spaghetti and meatballs and So for those of you watching right pie. now that are that are cookers out there, aspiring cookers, post a comment, let Heather know where she can Send find some, some recipes. Recipes, cooking videos, there's all kinds of cool yeah, stuff on you. You can videos. learn anything on that YouTube. I have uh, I have a lot of cooking books, and if my parents are watching this right now, they're probably annoyed because they buy me so much stuff, and, like, every single holiday I get, like, more cooking instructions, blah, blah, blah. But I just, I just haven't really found like that video or that teacher that really well, strikes me. So I would recommend grilling.com. Mm -hmm. Maybe your husband will like that. I, as a man, I like, I like yeah. to grill. It makes me feel very manly about myself. Yeah. So, uh, grilling. Well, you need everything you can, Jared. <laughs> feel manly. I don't know. If that's funny. Or I should be insulted <laughs> right now. What is that? What does that mean? But we're gonna move on right now. And uh, from Twitter user at US Women's National Team Believer uh, to Heather, what is your favorite pump up song to listen to before a game? Great question. I feel like the person that asked me this probably already knows the answer because I get sort of a lot of critiques on my pump up music because it's a little old school, but it still gets me going like nothing else. Eminem, Lose Yourself, from the 8 Mile soundtrack, is still one of the best pump-up songs out there. Um, let's see. I actually, like, kind of get pumped to, like, weird stuff, like Mumford & Sons. Um, you're, like, a little off the beaten track in terms of pump-up music, per se, but it gets me, it gets me going. I'm somebody that, like... I don't really like to put my headphones on and like get in a zone or anything. I think that makes me almost more nervous. I like to just like be working off everybody else's energy and bouncing around the locker room and dancing. So really whatever's on, usually Sid LaRue's um, on the music or Lauren Chaney with the national team. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just, whatever's, whatever's nice. going on. As the girls know, I don't really have much rhythm <laughs> at all, but... I give it my best. Speaking of rhythm, Kat Weigel was dancing today in the Soccer Walk in Boston video. She was doing one of these. It was pretty fun. Oh, nice. It's going to be a good bloopers clip. But uh, we had a comment from YouTuber Christian Orlena. Orlena. O-R-E-L-L-A-N-A. -E -L -L Cook chicken soup is, is, is wonderful. So there you go. Cook chicken <laughs> soup. Sorry for my stuttering over here. <laughs> Just really nervous. This is crazy. Uh, all right. Let's go to another question. Um, from YouTuber Megan Wesson. What's your favorite souvenir you've ever brought back from overseas? Hmm. Is it one of those Russian dolls that you like you take apart and there's like <laughs> five or six more of them come out? I feel like the bottom one. 
oh, I wish we could show them this in, in the apartment right now. That's uh, that old school London poster yeah, that I have. We can turn this. Around. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't really. I guess I don't really buy that many souvenirs. Um, sure yeah, but this is kind of a cool piece that I got at the London Olympics, and I had everybody on the team sign it. It's like MTV Cribs right now. Old school London Olympics poster signed by the 2012 gold medal winning soccer team. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And another souvenir. What do we got? What do we got? One of my favorites. Whoa! Gold baby. All right, I'm just showing off now. That was amazing. That, that was a gold medal. Bling, bling. All right, we're back to it. For those of you that are wondering what is happening right now, my name is Jared Monts. We're doing a live Google Plus interview with Heather O'Reilly. We're in her house in Cambridge, Massachusetts on the Harvard campus. She's not doing her master's. She's here playing for the Boston Breakers. Anyway, we're just hanging out. It's going to be like a 30-minute show. Ask us a question. Post a comment. Um, Heather, if you want to check your tweets and see if you got any coming mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. and I will get another question out. Um, let's see. You, uh, Twitter, Adrian Jolie, uh, Adrian cool. J. I love you, Heather and Jared. I was wondering, how did you maintain a healthy diet as a teenager slash kid until now? Question mark. Good question. Yeah, that's a great question. Well, I think my mom helped me with that one because my mom usually did most of the cooking. I love but, you, Mom. <laughs> yeah, love you, Mom. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I think that it's all about just, you know, being a little realistic. Of course, you're going to sometimes go for ice cream and sometimes, uh, you know, have to stop at McDonald's once in a while. But for the most part, you try to eat a clean diet. I mean, your body is your instrument. And I think that I realized that, you know, in, in probably high school and college that what, you know, you want to – what you want to get out is what you put in. So I think that, um, you know, you just try to eat clean. Um, but, you know, for the most part, it's just about being realistic with your diet and, and making sure that you're eating right after training. That's, I think, one thing that I've learned is just uh, replenishing your, your body after a hard workout is, is probably the most important thing. Let's give a shout-out to YouTuber Dana Crane. Get it, AO. Hashtag rock the headband. Love it. That's hey, gonna Dana. Be, that's going to be a trending topic. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, but uh, anyone coming in, do you have any out of oh, yeah, yeah, You can yeah. give someone a shout-out on the show. Uh, Jill Bahin, Bahan said, Hi, Heather. Congrats on your goal yesterday. Thank you. We scrimmaged um, Sky Blue FC yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a little cold. What advice do you have for a player entering the college game next year? Uh, I think that's a really great question, and I think that that transition from high school to college is is really crucial for for especially female players. Um, I think first and foremost is controlling what you can control the summer going into college. So what I mean by that is to go into college soccer as fit and strong as you can. Um, I know that soccer is not just a fitness game, and it's a lot more complicated than just running up and down the field. But you want fitness to be something that is in your back pocket all the time that you can always rely on. And coach and your teammates can always rely on you for being a fit player. Um, and you don't want to be thinking about being tired when you're out on the field. You want to be able to do what you, you want to do on the field. You don't want fitness to hold you back. So I would say go into your freshman, freshman year very fit. And I think that that will leave an impression on your teammates and your coaches that you're prepared, that you want to be there, and that you want to contribute from day one. And I'll just add to that, Heather gave some great advice for on the field, but off the field when you're doing your recruiting work, um, if you go to collegerecruitingwebsite.com, uh, I have a company that you can just download our free handbook. It's like a 32-page PDF guide on how to talk to coaches, what to say, how to stay organized, how to get your name out there. So go look at that. Um, we've got a question here from YouTuber YouTuber Kelsey Herenza. Who's your, what is your favorite thing to do in your off time? Huh. Sit around and be cool, or is that like a hobby? Yeah, being cool. Um, you know what? I am a wife now, so I do like spending time with my husband, which sounds like the cheesy answer, but it's true. 
Um, I really like watching movies, reading, stuff that's relaxing because I think that I like spend a lot of energy out on the field and things that I can just do to, to kind of chill out. Um, yeah, and hopefully cooking will one day be added to that list, but for now... <laughs> Hobbies not, include not chillaxing anything. and hopefully cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. When I was younger, I used to play lots of different other sports. I played basketball growing up as well, and uh, maybe that's why I'm rocking this headband right now to bring you back to those days. But, um, yeah, I, I loved playing basketball because it sort of gave me another outlet um, besides soccer, and it sort of kept me fresh and excited about soccer season when that rolled around. So. Uh, I definitely advocate advocate for you know kids to you know try out other sports, see what they really like doing, and to stay active. And um, you know, b besides soccer, even though it's pretty sweet if you can play soccer every single day too, work on your skills. But um, if you need something else and you want to do something else, then it's it's fun to explore different sports. Well, let's let's talk hoops, Heather. It's March Madness. You mentioned basketball. We've got a comment here from a YouTuber. Where did it go? <laughs> YouTuber A C Mitch Five. Since the Tar Heels are out of the basketball tourney, who are you feeling to win? Yes, I was devastated that the Heels kind of exited a little bit earlier than I wanted. Um, I thought they would at least get to the Final Four, but I think that's just because. I'm blinded by my love for the heels. <laughs> um, but I do have Indiana going all the way, which was hard for me to root for anybody else besides the heels. But I feel like perhaps this year that was more of a realistic um, winner to, to go all the way. Definitely not Duke. Duke cannot go any farther than their next game. Maybe the Blue Devils. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going for Indiana. Hopefully they win because then I win a couple of my pools that I entered. One with the Boston Breakers and one with my family. So how's how's your bracket looking? Is it looking <sighs> good? Well, a couple teams hurt me a little bit, but um, hopefully I'm still hanging in there and have a chance to win it. We'll see. Got to believe in it. A little doubt. <laughs> a little doubt. So funny story. I'm filming soccer walk in Boston today, and Heather's like doing some like post uh, training stuff. And uh, all the girls, ladies are watching training, and, and I'm going to like juggle by them for the shot of the video. And the ball happens to like roll into my path that mm -hmm. Heather is playing, and she's just like, "What's up, little dab?" Like as I'm going through doing the little dab, and I'm like, "This is so perfect. We're live right now. I love it. I love it. It was awesome." Um, for those of you wondering what is soccer walking, uh, soccer walking America. It's a 15 city, 45 day tour uh, by me, where I'm encouraging players around the world to juggle in our OSA World Jugglathon for nothing but nets on April 25th. And Heather and some of the breakers were kind enough to take part and be in the Soccer Walking Boston video. So if you haven't seen the videos yet, they're coming out every two days. Just YouTube search Soccer Walking and share and like them. But uh, let's get back to the comments here. Uh, YouTuber Carrie Lake, what is your favorite quote, Heather? Huh. Do you have one? Very like Walden Pond, Thoreau-like. Yeah, Something I deep here. You look like a really deep thinker, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if there was some sarcasm in that. Yeah, I'll go. Right. Um, you know what? I don't know who said this. Perhaps it's just a, an original myself. Um, but I think just be you, you know, and that might be cliche, but I just feel like in soccer and uh, in life, Everybody has different things to offer and to bring to the table, and I think that should be celebrated, you know, even on the field. Like, do I wish that I had the heading ability of Abby? Of course. That would be unbelievable, and it would be, um, you know, sweet to be able to do what Abby does. But I think that there's things that I can bring to the table, too, that excite me, and I just think that everybody should examine sort of what makes them different and special and um, make sure that you're sort of the best that you can be. Uh, every single day. So I just say, be you. I like it. Be you. Bianca, what do you think? Hello. I missed the question. <laughs> we got Bianca D'Agostino here. I'm having a Boston Breaker sandwich. I love it. Uh, we just asked uh, Heather, um, one of the comments was, what is your favorite quote? And she said, she thinks she made it up, be you. 
I was just talking about that today. Actually. And I love it. I love that. Should be a registered. Tra- it, Do you have a registered trademark on that? No, but yeah. nobody take it. <laughs> no one, no one take it. Heather's going to register trademark that thing. We're going to stick it on a T-shirt, and you are going to love it. Bianca, what's going on? How how how's life treating you? Life's good. I'm actually just uh, using Heather's apartment right now to take a little nap before I have to go to some coaching. Um, naps are important. Yeah. Power naps. Power naps, people. Yes, power naps, like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Don't push it. Don't go for the hour. I know. It's a backfire. Because then you'll be exhausted. Have Post to- a comment and let us know what you guys think about naps. Are you a power nap person? Is it a 10-minute nap, 30-minute nap, or an hour nap? Personally, I hear the whole hour thing, and I think, you know what? I can do a 10-minute nap and feel great, and I can do an hour nap, and I feel even better. But There to seems to be a lot of positive feedback about the headband. Oh, yeah. yeah. they like it? We had so- a hashtag rock the headband going. You should probably it, wear that it's, practice it's, tomorrow. It's been awesome. Um, uh, YouTuber Kim Yap. Who do you think is funnier, <coughs> you or Sid? I feel like we should ask Sid that, too. Sid's pretty funny. <laughs> she call her out. I think Sydney, it's who do you think is funnier, different you or Heather? That's I think you should said. come say that on camera so everyone can believe that you are here and I'm not just talking to space. You do not look gross. You look beautiful. <laughs> Sid thinks she looks gross. Who wants Sid out? <laughs> Post yeah. a comment if you want Sid in the room. Tweet Sid if right you want her to come to the living room. Exactly. Heather, you could run a Google Plus Hangout. You got it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. the tweets are yeah. flying. Here we, we go. Out. It's getting get crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait. She, she turned around. She turned around. And keep tweeting at her. She's coming back. It's like the more you tweet, the faster she gets here type of deal. Oh, man. We're getting ridiculous you, questions. YouTuber Skate Pod 131, loving the headband. YouTuber Fiorola Taranzo Lozio. I'm sure I messed that up. Has Tobin Heath ever nutmegged you? No! Shout out to, US, to your fans in Peru. Has she ever nutmegged you, Heather? Sorry, yeah. No. 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 Yes, Tobin no. has nutmegged us all. There she is. <laughs> <in> the <room. laughs> She's, we found her on the streets of Cambridge. She's been studying reading books at Harvard. Sydney, who is funnier right now? You or Heather? What did I say on uh, the other day about your Twitter game? I said when you have like one or two minutes to think of something funny to say that. Yeah, she thinks that it takes like my mind time. <laughs> I feel like I may be like a little quicker, wittier, but like, Sid, what? like you give her a couple minutes and she's going to put together a real funny tweet. I mean, hilarious. <laughs> That's the difference. I was laughing today, Sydney, because I, I saw your like bio about your proud mama. And I was like, oh, I didn't know Sydney had a kid. And then I see your dog is more popular no. than uh, most so people before, on Twitter. Yeah, before we went to Olympics, it like came out with you know new players and whatever, and it said that I had a child. Like an actual child, but I named Boss. I was like, no, it's my dog. Boss LaRue. I love it. Granny Look. LaRue. Oh. <laughs> YouTuber Dana Grant with a shout, Granny LaRue. Uh, let's give a shout out to YouTuber Camille. You guys want us to give her a shout out? Say, hey, Camille. Hey, Camille. She's in Brazil right now, and Seriously. she's a big Boston and women's oh, wow. national team fan. Really nice. cool. Um, YouTuber Andrea Tomasi. We need Sydney. Sydney's here. We got her. She's here. <laughs> Tweets are coming in. <laughs> the break. What do they say? <laughs> They're just like, you two were happy, O'Connor. Sid is such a trendsetter. Ooh. Nice. I like the style. Like, tight, really tight hoodie. Yeah, my hair is not. Why don't we talk some fashion? Not ideal. You guys, right we, were, we were discussing fashion not earlier. What, what is the style? What's like the preferred style of the, the woman's player? Gangster? Oh, de- yeah, definitely. <sighs> I we think. have a lot of different styles on our team. Yeah. Yeah. Some hipsters or U.S.? W- what are you? No, it's not US. What's, what's probably really... the most popular? Isn't hipster, hipster in? Sid's pretty stylish. Mm-hmm. Got some style on my sleeve. Pino's always like, uh, Megan Rapinoe's always like the most cutting edge. But yeah. Pino comes in and steals my clothes. So I just <laughs> want everyone to know that <laughs> she actually takes my clothes. <laughs> and she probably doesn't credit you in the pictures, does she either? And she's like rocking a sweet yeah. outfit. She should credit. I'm not going to say I'm the most cutting edge, but I think I'm classic. <laughs> You're class. class. Yeah. You're class. class. <laughs> you do have You're the cool class. boots on. But... Yeah, she sure. has class. I like it. Let's go. Uh, YouTuber Jeff. What is that? What's this? Socks over. 
Socks YouTuber socks? Jeff Wise. Hey oh, girls, like soccer socks? Socks up or socks down? Ooh, Ooh I'm going in this. I'm in this I weird thing right up. now. Socks and up for, for those sure. of you watching, post a like comment. Are you socks up or no. socks down? I kind of scrunch them low. Below, yeah. the the knees. Below the knee, a little Above scrunch. The knees, little Are we talking Here. soccer socks or just like fashion socks? socks. socks. Oh, okay. Um, Someone of, said that we should have a, me and Heyo should have a dance off. Please, Heyo, at least tell that I'm a good dancer. Who wants to see them have a dance off That's right not now? Uh, well, Winner. You should post a comment and say you want it to happen, and maybe happen. we can convince Sydney to have but, a dance off. But seriously, who's the better dancer, you or Evan? Okay, that's not even a question. <laughs> okay, no. no. We have, we have. I'm one dance. of the worst dancers on the team, but I give it my best. No, the thing is, you have heart. I have heart. Matters. Yeah. I have a lot no, of heart. I have a lot of heart. A lot of passion. Not as much rhythm, but... <laughs> Rhythm's lacking, yeah. I make up for it in other categories. Yeah, well, Sid is just pure pure class on the dance floor. Yeah. Pure rhythm. Pure what about rhythm. you, Bianca? Are you... Bianca can dance, too. Oh, yeah, you can dance. I've seen a couple of your Instagram you pictures. They look a lot of, like, club shots. <laughs> <laughs> what? I break it down. <laughs> like I'm parties. in the club. What's up? <laughs> A lot of people are commenting about the dance off. Love it. Um, YouTuber Skate Pod 131 dance off. Maria YouTuber dance off. Uh, we'll renew. We won't ask that question. Uh, do a doogie battle. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have on this one. Um, I kind of know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just let Heather try to do a doogie? Hey, see what give happens. me a preview real quick. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Um, YouTuber uh, Carrie Lake, so what is your favorite country you have visited? And we'll let all three of y'all answer. Sorry the camera is an amazingly wide screen. Yeah, they so just don't just... really want me in it. No. We can't, um, reach, we can't reach the comments from here. Okay. I um, I love Italy. We have, we've only Still been there to play one time. But um, Italy might be my favorite country on earth. Uh, but we've also played a lot of games up in Sweden and Norway, and I actually really like Scandinavia. I think it's beautiful up there, and also Japan. Japan's pretty sweet. Yeah, Japan's um, I would say Thailand. Mm -hmm. I love yes. Thailand. Um, I thought it was beautiful. Um, and Paris is my favorite city in the world. Do you surf? Mm -hmm. No, I don't like sharks. <laughs> I don't like water animals. <laughs> I just started kiteboarding like a year ago in Thailand. I'm supposed to have good surfing and kiting. And, anyway. Bianca, what about you? I'm going to agree with Heather and say Italy. I think it's beautiful. And I'm a little biased. Because you're Italian? Italian? Yeah. Di Agostino. Yeah. I can pronounce I'm it. I'm French. So. Sydney's French. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. All right, let's go. Wait, to, uh, let's we go. have a lot of questions. For Wait, the are you Japanese? Oh, let's <laughs> I don't even know. All right, Heather, explain, explain what the comments are about the Harlem well, Shake. Okay, yeah, here's the thing about the Harlem Shake. shake. No, we, we were, were going like, to no, do it. Okay, we were on the Harlem Shake like when it was. Popular. Yes, like Sid like, was telling me about it. I'm like, Sid, I don't know. Cool. I don't think this is gonna be funny. She's like, dude, it's like cutting edge popular right now. And I was like, this is random. And she was like, okay, just believe me, I'm hip, like whatever. <laughs> and I was exactly like, no, no, no. And then Whoa. so we were gonna do it, and we kind of did it, but then. Basically, no. we bailed, and then it was just overdone. So yeah. you know what, you women's national team fans out there, just wait because one day we're gonna put something out that's gonna be yeah. that's gonna be unique. It's gonna be hip. Yeah, and we, did, we did do it though. It was done, except unfortunately, it couldn't go to the public. Whoa, whoa! Someone needs to release that Harlem Shake video. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Gorillas. Someone, someone's asking about gorillas. Um, we didn't have enough. Oh, props. were you scared? Were you scared? YouTuber Kylie Bachelor, what is your favorite Disney movie, ladies? Mm, 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 mm. Tie, tie between uh, Lion King and Beauty and the Beast, probably. Mm -hmm. Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Yeah. I don't know. So, Does that include like Pixar now that they've merged? Well, like these are classics. These are classics. Oh, classics. Oh, All right, we're classics. Gonna classic. classic. Is Winnie uh, the Pooh? Toy Story. No. Toy Story? No, that's Pixar. Toy Story. Well, that was, yeah. that was Pixar. Toy Story. No, that was Pixar. I teared up. That counts. Toy Story. It's been around for a while. Yeah. Toy Story. Well, I think it was Pixar, which is now owned by Disney. So technically, it's a Disney movie. I like I'm so <laughs> 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 um, um, 
YouTuber Green 2009 Day, what's your favorite pregame food? We're going to go 10 more minutes, everyone. So if you got some questions, post a comment. If you want us to go 10 more minutes, say like or go 10 more minutes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, yeah. Can you? I actually tweet it at you. Yeah. Pretty so much tweet, any tweet. meal, all meals that. and every meal. Sydney will um, be back. She's going to do a tweet right now, live. I can Sorry, have breakfast food. I love breakfast food. Like I love eggs. I love pancakes. I love French toast. I love yogurt. I love granola. It's like Basically all breakfast food. So I feel like any time that I can have breakfast food as my pregame food, pregame meal, that works well for me because usually about pregame meals, it's about eating a lot, getting a lot of good protein and and some carbs in um, before your match. So. That's the, that's the that's how you would win over my heart by yeah. having a big breakfast spread made for me. I'm down for a good egg sandwich. Mr. Heather O'Reilly, if you're paying attention, <laughs> take notes. Dave. And for you guys that are watching, feed your feed your ladies breakfast. Uh, let's show them the, let's show them my wedding photo. We're looking at wedding photos now. Oh. Heather's a, a homo. <laughs> this is me and Dave. This is our, our wedding photo. Oh, He's a good yeah. man. He is a good man. It's a nice guy. I also have a wedding photo. Sydney's got a wedding photo too. Um, All right, Sydney Larue is gonna retweet that she's on live right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh are you looking at this? Two of my favorites. This two of my one. favorites. YouTuber oh! Kim Yap, you were coming out with some great questions. Do you guys watch Modern Kim Family? Kim Yap, you're where it's at. Or, <laughs> or Homeland. Uh, I love Homeland. I think it's a great show. Really good show. Modern Family is one of my one of my favorites, um, so I think that those two are are way up there for me. Since trying to get me to Scandal, it's, that's all. Scandal is all. It's a good show. Yeah. Um, do you guys uh, do you watch Nashville? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Dabble. How Dabble great is that lady? What's her name? I don't Brittany even Cook? like country. That, I like the really long so girl. She's so good. Yeah. Oh, the, the singer. Scarlett. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, I'm also uh, still watching Abel? Friday Night Lights, even though that's like kind of old. But are okay. you having problems going between Friday Night Lights and Nashville because the ladies in the same show? Oh and I'm yeah, like, I love she's her in great, show, and I love her in that show. She's awesome. If you're watching this right now, lady from Nashville and Friday Night Lights, <laughs> I forget your name. Anyways, Rain you're James. awesome. Rain Rain James. No, no, that's her actress. That's Wait, her show name. Her. It's like Britain Cook, isn't it? Oh. Anyways, we really love you. We you have a lot of fans. That was a great we question. Post post a comment and let us know who your what your favorite show is. House of Cards. I love House of Cards. YouTube. Why is somebody saying Mazel Tov to me? I don't know. I mean, I I appreciate <laughs> that, but I don't I don't know why. Someone saying Duck Dynasty. You guys watch Duck Dynasty? If you had to have an actress play you in a movie, who would you choose? Jennifer Olivia? Gardner. Olivia Pope. So <laughs> you, YouTuber Megan Wesson. Great question. If you had to have an actress play you in a movie, who would you choose? Bianca. Oh gosh, um, let me think about this for a second. All right. Well, while we're thinking, Sydney, what did you say? Olivia Pope from Scandal, because uh, she's a boss. <laughs> <laughs> and I said Jennifer Gardner because I think we have a lot of similarities. <laughs> Nobody else has ever said that. So can I pick Halle Except Berry? myself, because we're similar. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and I feel like I have to address something um, that's been asked about a few times. My game face. <laughs> so when I'm out on the field competing, sometimes I do weird things with my face. Like this? Or or what what do you think it looks like? It's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know where it comes from. It's just instinctual, but there's a word for that and it's called beast mode and that's what I get into when I'm playing and so sometimes with that comes weird faces and it just happens it's worked for me for 20 some years so it might not be the most Since you're flattering. Eight, you've been doing the beast game face? Yeah. If nice. it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. So you know what? <laughs> Fans out there, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it's scaring you. Here. <laughs> sorry if it's scaring you but um, it's what I got. That's what happens. Probably why you meet nice. people, because they actually are scared. Yeah. They're like running away from you. Yeah. All right. If you want us to go 10 more minutes, post a comment. Tell us to keep going. We're going to keep the show going. Sydney just sent out a tweet. Um, people are asking about soccer walking. Oh, awesome. Connie Britton. Thank you. YouTuber Kiana685. Connie Britton is her name. We're talking about the actress in Nashville and Friday Night Lights, oh. which we all love so much. Sid, there's a couple questions. Where's Boss? Oh, okay. 
So Boss was supposed to be here now, and my mom came to visit me in L.A., and she was supposed to bring him there because I was in L.A. for a day before I came to Boston. And she told me that she forgot him. I don't know who forgets an actual child. It's a child. <laughs> he is my child. You don't forget your kid at home. So me and my mom didn't talk for, like, the entire day. She's very, she was very apologetic. I had to forgive her. She's yeah. bringing, him, bringing him next time for the for our first game. Boss isn't here. That's Sydney's child yes. slash dog, which I personally think dogs are, like, kids slash anyway. Child. I was hanging out at a friend's house the other day. They had a little kid. I threw a ball. I said, go get it. They brought the ball back. I threw it again. I said, go get it. So it was just like a dog. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Um, anyway, one of the YouTube comments we just uh, is way down the stream now, but they're asking, what is your most embarrassing moment in a game? Mm -hmm. um, or maybe in the locker room or at training. Actually, the other day in our scrimmage, I was backpedaling and I fell. Mm. I tripped over my feet. Good one. That's, so that's recent. <laughs> sometimes when I'm in the locker room before the game and I'm dancing, it's sometimes good for me because I'm like, anything anything I can do out on the field can't be as embarrassing as what I'm doing yeah, in the locker room. That's you know what true. I'm saying? So it's like you just get it out there early on. Actually, that's a good strategy. Right actually, <laughs> let's see this picture. We have a picture of Heather dancing embarrassingly. Yep. yep. Wait a second. Put it right up to the webcam. Then. Is it a vid or? <laughs> She's got. She even has the game face on. No, I don't. Can, everyone Can see you that? see it? <laughs> oh my goodness! I oh. secretly took it. <laughs> well, let me see. It's beast mode right there. It's yeah. all the people with the least amount of rhythm on our team. So Abby, <laughs> Mike Bueller, <laughs> and Heyo. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. We, we, we are, uh, that's a good photo, right? Is there. that cool that yeah. Sid's calling out her teammates yeah. on uh, live Google Hangout? No, no. <laughs> Google, I'll say, it's better than TV, this show. It's that is love. unreal. It's out of love. Uh, For me, just wait. Let's see. Uh, what, uh, Sydney, what's your most embarrassing moment? I mean, Oh, no, I have a few. I don't know what's going. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I have a few. Um, I don't know. National treasure. You see that? Hayo's game face is a national treasure. Wow. The pride of the country. They want you, you to take that one? pick. I do, but I, <laughs> yes. No, I don't have one. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. We're going to go a few more minutes. Everyone's been posting comments. They're all flying in here. I'm hanging out with the Boston Breakers. I mean, guys, I always say I like to live the dream, and I'm living the dream right now. We soccer walk today. I saw Boston. It's beautiful. Boston. You heard that accent come out? Mm -hmm. Boston, I come from. yeah. Anyway, it's pretty awesome. If you got a question, we're about to finish up in a few minutes. Post a question for the girls. This looks like like such a gangster photo right now. Oh, you're so cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, like I feel like I have the best job in the whole world. I thought being a pro soccer player was fun, but this is just living it. Anyway, um... YouTuber Skate Pod 131. Do you any of you guys play any in, in an instrument? We were talking about this earlier. Special talents. Does anyone mm. play an instrument? Um, unfortunately, I'm not so musically inclined. We've kind of talked about that before. Um, that's kind of like one thing. When I was really little, I got into a bunch of sports and athletics and stuff like that. Never really got into the music scene, and I really regret that. Um, so I've tried, tried, tried to pick up guitar. It was an epic fail. Mm -hmm. And I've also tried picking up piano. That also crashed and burned. <laughs> but, um, I hope you got the Hopefully, there's a lot of life before me, and I can still maybe learn piano. That would be pretty sweet. If anybody wants to exchange piano for soccer lessons, that could be a fun exchange. That could be cool. We actually have, we actually have a. Actually have the recorder. One of our adult online soccer academy players is the music teacher at University of Texas. Mm. He's pretty awesome. Sweet. So maybe I'll put you in touch mm -hmm. with him. He's cool. Curtis Coolsby, I believe it is. Sydney, what is a? Uh, do you play any musical instruments? I play the recorder. <laughs> what do you? What's the recorder? I don't know what that the is. The recorder is like. Does anyone know what the recorder is? Yes. Post everybody did it in third grade music yeah. class. <laughs> exactly. Hot so cross buns. <laughs> I played that for five years. <laughs> Did you retire? Or you just stopped. I, I retired. You reached like your talent peak, yeah. and you're like, I'm I done. What about one of those flutes on the iPhones? You guys play those? What do you play, Bianca? I played the clarinet, and then I couldn't read the notes, so I gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> so honest, honest answer. So that was in like 
<laughs> Sixth grade. <clears throat> can you play Call Me Out? YouTuber Jim Fisher 9, can you play Call Me Out on it? I'm guessing that's the recorder. Sydney? No. I couldn't no. play anything. Never heard of Call Me Out. <laughs> We're talking music. So now let's, now let's I don't even know Al. <laughs> Who is Al? Who is Al? It's like that song. That's that song that we are listening to. Yeah. Who, Call is Molly? Molly? Yeah, Who is Molly? Who is Molly? That's different. Oh. <laughs> what? Who, who's <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't know why we're laughing. We're all at something's awkward right now. Well, but just keep anyway, smiling. Keep <laughs> I feel like I should do like a uh, Anchorman quote right now, but I don't know. You got one, Heather? You Anchorman fan? Um, this, my apartment smells like rich mahogany. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Who's the best singer on the women's <clears throat> team? Pina. And the breakers? Pina? Pina, yeah. You can sing. Yeah, Pino can sing. Can anybody else sing, really? Did her and Pia start a band or anything? They did <laughs> one time sing together. It was weird. <laughs> I think that they sang together for like a couple seconds. Um, can you sing? No. I like to think that I can sing. I feel like everyone thinks they can sing while they're in the car, like by themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or in the shower. No. We, got a, I can sing. we got a great shout from a YouTuber, Lid. 1920, if everyone can say a little dap to that YouTuber. A little dap. He says 60% of the time, it works every time. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. line. Great True. line. Truth. All right, we're going two more minutes. If you got a question, post it in the comment. Tell us you're liking the show. I saw a lot of people saying we should do this more often. <laughs> what are we doing? We're dancing now, Heather? Yeah. See, those are like the kind of moves. No, I that, don't. Sort of... So, so in, college, in college, I went to school with all these English guys. And I used to think I was a good dancer in high school, like doing all the moves and everything. These English guys were throwing me off. My one friend danced like this, and then he would go. <laughs> no, I didn't see none of that. Stop that. Not cool. Not cool. Um, is Tobin Heath a good dancer slash singer? YouTuber? Uh, I've actually longer. never seen Tobin in the dance in the dance group. Yeah. She kind of just chills. She chills. I'm jealous. I don't know if she she doesn't really get up in the circle too much. Mm -hmm. The circle of trust. We literally have to like pry people from their seats. But everybody has their own pregame routine, so if it's not in their yeah. routine, then what else? But I judge. <laughs> <laughs> I judge people who don't stand. YouTuber uh, BVB supporter seventeen. Do you watch European soccer? Best leagues and teams in the world are here. What do you guys think? Do you guys watch European soccer? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I love Man U. They're my team. Um, obviously, I love watching Barcelona play as well because I think they have a collection of some of the best players of our generation, which is pretty cool to watch. I mean, Messi's maybe the best ever, so uh, that's been a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, we try to, I try to watch soccer as much as I can. Um, what about you guys? Yep, same. I like um, Pirlo. He's my favorite player, so I watch Juventus. And then Barcelona, of course. Because they're Italian? Yeah. And you like Italian? Yeah, but I really just love Pirlo. I think he's amazing, so I follow him. Cool. Baller. All right, Sydney, what is your team? Who's your team? Mm, I don't really like, have a team, to be honest. I mean, I like Barca. Boss is a Barca fan, too. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Men's national team? Boss is a Barca fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, Alexander Grant. Can you show us your boss tattoo? Trump. I wasn't going to say that, but it's, Do you have one? I didn't even know this. Spot. All right. There's my, my little babe. For everyone who's watching right now, really Sydney LaRue is showing you her boss tattoo, which is her dog. Yeah. Wait, can I see this? How have I not noticed this? I don't know. That is pretty awesome. Oh. Yeah. I was really scared when I got it because... I, if anyone has tattoos, portraits are very difficult, and if you screw up an eye or something, then he could look kind of janky. So. And have that person do. He did a really good job. Can I just answer this question for Sid real quick? Best yes. movie you've seen recently? Spring Breakers. <laughs> <laughs> the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Was it that? Oh, Do man. not. I actually, that's why I told everyone that it's a horrible movie, but I actually want people to go see it so you can understand. And like have something to talk about with me because it was so ridiculous and unrealistic. 
that you heard it from Cindy LaRue, movie critic. She does not give it a two thumbs up. No. Don't yeah. think so. Zero stars. All right. I, I, I mean, this has just been amazing. Like, Oh, what I get a tattoo? Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't have any tattoos right now. She but... wants to get a bestie tattoo, but I said that's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Gloomy's full <of> life. <laughs> we're going to go a couple more minutes because wire. the team here said we can go a few more minutes and we're all just chillaxing in Boston. I've mm -hmm. got a plane to catch to Columbus in a little bit. Hopefully it'll be as fun as Boston has been. But Anyway, if I miss it, I missed it. Can't be any better than this. Um, so you hate it, man. Nope. No. Um, Do UNC players ever bring up all their national championships? YouTuber, Never. YouTuber no. Kelsey Mayo. Do UNC players bring up their national championships all the time? Uh, I don't think we brag. I think we're proud of being Tar Heels. One day I walked in the apartment and there were Tar Heel seats, a Tar Heel blanket, <laughs> The Tar Heel. Like, that's because it was game day. Carrot. It was the NCAA. Oh. <laughs> a vegetable dish. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carrots <laughs> carved into UNC. Vegetable dish. Same thing. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. <laughs> What's that like sports commercial on ESPN? But I literally could not be here. I have to leave. <laughs> proud. I love when people are proud of their school. It's awesome. All right. What was it, uh, YouTuber? Jehi 5 what was it like being a student athlete during college? Mm. Ooh, McDonald's for breakfast. Yeah, I, love that. I love McDonald's for breakfast. So Not too much. No, I said yeah. earlier, clean diet is important. Sometimes you can cheat yourself. Yeah. So we were kind of talking there. YouTuber Sam something posted a comment about uh, McDonald's for breakfast. Sydney likes McDonald's for breakfast. Wow. I love a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. It's so good. I Heather, mean... If I'm in the airport at 6 in the morning, I'm going to McDonald's probably. Yeah. It needs to be done sometimes. Yeah. From time to time. Sometimes. Don't tell their nutritionist. All right. Let's go to Twitter. Sydney, do you have any comments? you want to give any shout-outs to people on Twitter? Are they shouting at you? Let's see here. Um, Heather, do you have any comments? Wait for it. Bianca? Wait for it. Oh, YouTuber Leonardo, uh, Leo Cal 88 here's your gangster photo. Loves Sydney LaRue and... <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. At the moment of the show, when we were talking about the gangster photo. Someone grabbed a screenshot and tweeted it. So cool. We'll retweet yeah, that in a little bit. I haven't really gotten any on um, Twitter. So you can ask me que or ask us questions on our Twitter. You heard that? Twitter.com slash Sydney LaRue. If you're not following her already, you should be. Bianca, what's your Twitter handle? It's just my name. At Bianca Diagosino. Bianca Diagosino. And Heather O'Reilly on Twitter. Um, Who's better, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi by YouTuber Syria Awesome 127? That's. Yeah, that could be argued all day, I guess. Who's better looking? Cristiano, let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Heather is not answering here. I think she thinks Messi's better looking. Heather likes, like. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Messi, no offense. I, I think you're yes, amazing, it. but I think Ronaldo dominates Never mind. You. Never mind. But Heather, she... I have a thing for shorter guys. She does. She does. That's what I was going to say. I, I have, have a thing say. for shorter guys. Interesting. And I like and, really tall, and tan. Like, beautiful. Cristiano <laughs> would definitely <laughs> take <laughs> longer. <laughs> for the good or the bad, Cristiano Ronaldo would take longer to get ready than I would. And I just don't know if i dig that. I'm not saying... Do you, yeah, think, he, do you think he wears makeup in the games? I posted a, a tweet about this. We did a poll, and there was like a lot of people saying yes and a lot saying no. Makeup in the games. He does look, have, like his you, face looks I mean, pretty darn good on camera. You have to look good. Yeah, hair gel for sure. Good. Feel good? Yeah. Look good, feel good, play good. Yeah, yeah but I mean, no, you can't girls can that. wear makeup in games, but guys wearing makeup in games? But like when? I, I don't know. I, I've never seen a guy in the locker room it's put on makeup. It's for the dewy finish on the camera. Mm -hmm. You know he wants to look like. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Post a comment and let us know right oh. now if you hey. would if you would Mercy. wear makeup during the game. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's. Uh, we're going three more minutes. Who? Uh, I wonder if that's the real P Diddy. 
Yes, it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, he did he? Sean, he did on the show. Nice. He's a women's ass really fan. Funny. Uh, that didn't take you too many took a lot. YouTuber Dexter Lamb, do you all love David Beckham? I am a big, a big Bex fan myself. I love looking at him. I'm a pretty. But he does fan. have. He he is has game. No, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. That obviously makes him better looking. Yeah. Um, some of the questions were if we're excited to play Canada coming up. Uh, I think that we are very excited. Hopefully, Sid and I will be there and healthy and ready to play in that game. Um, obviously, we have a nice rivalry with Canada now, uh, stemming from the Olympic semifinal. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to see them again. Uh, now we have a couple Canadians on the Boston Breakers, so it's kind of fun to have them a little on on your side of the pitch and then to play against them. Abu, again, where so. are they from? You guys say Abu, uh, Abu, Abu and Montreal. Yeah. And I would know this because I'm Canadian. What? Canadian? I thought you were American playing for the national team. <laughs> no, no, America. 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 Proud to be an American. Favorite color? Carolina blue. Ugh. YouTuber Sam Palmo, yeah. favorite color. I guarantee both of your guys are purple. I love that. Knew it? <laughs> knew it. Knew it. Knew it. But be very predictable. You just said that and say, no. um, UCLA green school. Oh, yeah. Make for a slack and gold. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys ready to wrap it up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to wrap it up here. For those of you wondering what on earth – uh, these three ladies are doing hanging out with a guy in an orange shirt. My name is Jared Muntz. I'm doing a Soccer Walk in America tour. The Boston Breakers were in Soccer Walk in Boston today. It was so cool. Um, go to onlinesocceracademy.com and join us in Juggle to Save Lives on April 25th. But be sure, and if you're in the Boston area, go to Boston Breakers game. Support the NWNSL. NWSL. Sorry. Tongue twister. Um, women's national team, all that good stuff. But uh, post a comment, like the video, share the video, let us know you enjoyed this, and hopefully we can do more of these types of show in the future. Ladies, did you all have fun? Yeah. Yes. Thank Thanks for you. having us. Thanks for having us. All right. Y'all have a good day. Do whatever it is you do. Have fun. See ya.